Let's go, coach. Right. Hey, so I got a question for you, my brother. Like, how has Richard Fit helped you in the last year that you've been here? Man, Rich and Fit changed my life. I came here just as soon as Rich and Fit started, and uh, I met Tosin and Tammy. They were kind enough to invite me here, and the atmosphere here is completely different. Everybody here is trying to lift each other up. We're all trying to build each other up. We're all trying to push each other. It's fun. It's good for your body. It's good for your health. And not to mention, it's not just fit. It's rich and fit. Yes, so we got that network. We have all these amazing entrepreneurs, uh, CEOs, also business people. Some people working a nine to five, some people doing their own thing. And everybody's passionate, everybody's creative, and we're all trying to lift each other up. We'll have talks before rich and fit, after rich and fit, before the workout, after the workout. And honestly, I this has been a staple to me moving to Atlanta. Joining rich and fit is the best decision you'll ever make. Yeah, coach. Yeah, coach. Yeah, coach. Hey, coach. Yeah. Hey, he was in an Airbnb when he first got here. Now he's in Midtown. That's true. Living the life. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Easy. Easy. Roman. Easy. Hey, we are rich and fit, man. Hey, quick story for y'all. So, a lot of people they know rich and fit to be. Uh, the place where people get rich and people get fit. But people don't tell you the story behind how they got rich. See, the story behind why I'm here today, I was in a car accident at the age of two, and what that did was it caused me to have six physical scars, one right here, one right here, one on my chest that's the most severe. And a lot of times I didn't show my scars growing up, so what I did is I started wearing my tanks backwards. But I had to think to myself, instead of, you know, embracing, instead of, like, conforming to you know, other people and wanting to be the same as other people, I thought, why don't I just form my own lane? So instead of like, you know, having that same type of self-consciousness, I thought, how do I have self-confidence? I came to Rich and Fit, took my shirt off for the first time, started showing my scars, and then thought to myself, should I keep wearing my tanks backwards? And I was like, why not keep wearing it backwards? Because that's a fashion staple. And for the fashion staple, it's actually from my fashion brand, Scars Make Stars. So that's just, uh, that's just a pure example of how the same things that brought you trauma can be the same things that bring you triumph. The same things that brought you pain can bring you purpose. And now I'm becoming a star for my scars today. Let's get it. Hey guys, I hope you're following your purpose on purpose today, but I really want to talk about taking the harder way. There's plenty of times we take shortcuts, we take the easy way, but they don't last for long. That never lasts for long. And I realize I am 30 years old now, and me jumping into my 30s, I realized that all the things that I did that was hard is still here to today. All, my, all the things that came super easy are not here including my friends that took the easy ways. They're not my friends no more. They're just people I know, people I have known now. And all the people that have taken the hard way, harder way, they're here now. They're right here, my brothers. You feel me? Brothers in arms. So these are the people that's going to last. You always want things to last. And remember, easy guys make hard lives. Hard guys make easy lives. Remember that. And that's for the sisters, too, when you're choosing your guys. <laughs> Yeah, Facts, bro. Days, what does it take to get to new levels? Um, I always say it, every time someone calls, sees me, I always talk about consistency. Um, and every single day when it comes to coming to the gym every morning, is now a regime, literally. If I wake up, I have to be here. It's like brushing my teeth. So if I, when you wake up, you brush your teeth, you pray, whatever your daily, your five daily habits are. For me is I wake up, I pray, meditate, and I hit the gym. Right? And when I hit the gym, it literally is part of my routine every day. That's, that's the reason I can't miss a day. I literally told coach, whenever you guys don't see me today, a day I miss a day in the gym, probably should call and check on me because it was not part of the plan. And when I realized, once you be, become consistent being here, you're going to start seeing the results. And the results are gonna, going to be strength. You're going to feel much more confident. You're going to feel much better in the clothes. I was at the airport on my way to the flight, and I, literally, I went in the terminal's bathroom, and I saw myself in the mirror, and I saw everybody else, I saw the crowd. I, I literally, I look different. Like my physique, my body shape, everything looked different. I look like a, 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 a eight-figure person. I don't even know how an eight-figure man looks like. And I felt like an eight-figure man. Because that's the reason why the gym is so important. Because people realize, think that, oh, you come to the gym, or you just to work out. No, the, the physiques translate in your bank account. I mean it, because once I start, I started the gym August. 
in August, my bank account was looking different, a couple different figures. Let's just say I added two more zeros to my bank account. And I mean it hardly. And people don't realize what it takes to be in this gym because I'm around eight, uh, six figures, seven figure and eight figure person. What does it mean when I'm around six, seven figure and eight, eight figure people? I'm gonna pick up the habits, what they do on a daily basis, and that's always gonna translate to myself. And stop being selfish and stop thinking about others and start being consistent in the gym. And it's gonna translate in your family and your bank account. Let's get it. Here we go. What makes you work hard today? Is it the mindset? Talk to us, coach. Um, it's just fuck it. That's that's what it is, right? Sometimes you know you just say fuck it. Nobody cares how how you feel. Fuck your feelings. That's what it's saying. A lot of y'all motherfuckers just soft. I need to stop cussing so much, but a lot of y'all are just soft. This the we thing. need the cussing. We need this the cussing. Thing. Like, nobody really cares about how you feel. We get so caught up in our feelings that we allow that to distract us from where we want to be in our future. So, fuck your feelings. Get out here and fucking work. That's all. Like, you may not feel like it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, coach, go for real. What's the question, or just go? Oh, just go, coach. Man, fuck it. I'm going to tell you how I felt this morning, man. Listen, I realize that I have to earn everything I get in my life. I have to earn my meal. I have to earn the women I talk to. I have to earn the bag, man. So guess what? You got to get up, put in the work to be able to deserve the thing that you really want out of life, man. So next time you feel like, feel like something that you want in your life, set something in front of that. Set a challenge in front of that you have to accomplish in order to, to earn the thing that you want. That way, once you get it, it'll be that much sweeter, man. So go earn and earn the thing that you, that you want out of life. I'm going to leave it at that. Nigga. <laughs> Yo, yo, we at Rich and Fit, man. And they say, in order to get places you ain't never been, you got to do things you ain't never done. So don't forget to, man, put that work in. Get your hands dirty. You feel me? Everything is earned. You have to be able to put the time in, put the effort in to get what you want, man. Rich and Fit, let's get it. Yeah, coach! You got to. Coach, coach, like how we said, man, your transactions equal your transformations. I challenge you right now at this very moment to go to your bank statements and look at the last 20 transactions you made. The transactions you have on your credit card dictate the life that you have or you will have, man. If you're seeing a lot of junk food being invested into your body, then you will have a shitty life. But you're investing a lot of transformations and mentorship and healthy foods, then you'll see the level up in your life, then. Every single thing, like investing with Timmy, and rich and fit, that transaction led to a fucking transformation. Investing in my mentors and coaches led to a transformation. So that's the simple word of the day, man. Invest in yourself. Spend money to get money. Let's go. Let's go. Spend money to get money. <laughs> God damn, nigga. Bro. Say it again. Your transaction will equal your transformation. Awesome, get yeah. rich, get rich, and fit. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? Man, we at Rich and Fit. You already know the vibe. It's, it's 6.30 in the morning, and then we go do the same shit. We go run this shit back at 7 p.m., bro. I, I don't know. If you come in here and you're not getting fit or rich, then you're doing something wrong. And if you're not coming here, you're just wrong in general, bro. So be here. I want to see you tomorrow morning. Come Let's on. go. It's 2024. That sister needs more. Yeah, coach. I love that shit. Hey man, you gonna eat the stars. Eat the star, grind hard, you know, get in, get it out every day. Back at it every day. You know what I'm saying? You get out what you put in. If you put in bullshit, you gonna get out bullshit. So every day, eat the stars. Every goddamn day, it's that season. Eat the stars. Seven, nigga, motherfucking eight days a week. Eight days a week. We just wrapping up right here at Rich and Fit. You know, this was one of the, uh, this is a good experience right here. Uh, nice little leg workout, nice group training, all of that. Uh, we had a lot of people hit their PRs today on the squats. Yeah, this, this is a good environment. Hey, like, like my bro said, you get in what you put, you get out what you put in. So, hey, y'all can put this work in and, you know, put everything to the test. Let's get it. Yeah, couch to the fucking test.